What's up guys, Justin Fuller here, and I wanna go through some tips and tricks on a CRV because I think we can all agree that there is nothing worse than owning a car for a year or two or three and then learning that it did something that you had no idea and you would have absolutely loved to use it. I can relate, I've been there and I do this for a living, right? So we're gonna hop in, I'm gonna show you not only 11 tips and tricks, but I've got three bonus ones for you too. So really we're looking at 14 different tips and tricks that you can do in your brand new CRV. So let's hop on in. So I think we can all agree that there is nothing more fun than customizing your car and making it feel like it's yours, not just somebody else's. So as you can see on the screen right here, I've dropped an image in that background and I wanna show you how to do that. So if I hold down somewhere on the screen, you're gonna get this screen that pops up that says change wallpaper. Now from here, you're gonna to wanna to load a USB into one of the USB drives up front. So I've already done that, right? So now I can click on gallery. So when I go to this gallery, so I have some options in here and I'm gonna select the USB drive because that's what I wanna use. And let's say I'm gonna select this image right here. Now, once I've selected an engine, it's gonna allow me to size it out, right? So you might have to play with this to get it how you want it. But let's say I want it to look like that. Then I hit okay. It's gonna then drop the image into the background for me. And now I can personalize my car to look a little bit more. So as you can see, I might wanna adjust this a little bit so I could get my face and my buddy Reggie here in the background with us but you can see how to do it from there. I bet you don't recognize this screen. That's because you have an alternate skin that you can use here. So I wanted to talk to you about how to set that up. So if you wanna set it up, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna to go to your settings and I'll switch it between the two so you can see how this works. And then you wanna select system. Now, once you've selected system, you're actually gonna to wanna to go to the very bottom screen. So I'm gonna click the very top to drop to the bottom and then hit change screen. Now when I click it, it's gonna say hit next and it's gonna take a few seconds to do after you hit yes. You wait a couple seconds and then it will flip screens to the display that you're looking at, which might be the one right here, right? With my image still dropped in the background. So let's go do that one more time to switch it back over to the other skin. So if I press system, and then from system, I wanna go, or excuse me, I wanna go to system after I go to settings. And then from there, if I press up on this, it'll drop me to the very bottom, and then I can go to change skins, and I wanna hit next, and then I wanna hit yes. Once I do that, it'll now alternate to that secondary skin that you have set up already in your car. So bam, there you go. You can see it right there. So here's a super fun one. How about a live wallpaper in the background? I bet you didn't even know you had that option available to you. So Honda's made it even easier to set these up and they've already added them. So same thing again, if I press on the screen, you're gonna get this window that pops up and says change wallpaper. Now from here, instead of going to my gallery, this time I'm gonna go to live wallpapers because they've already uploaded some for you. So I'll click on this Nexus right here so you can see what this looks like and it'll give you a preview real quick. So if I hit set, now in my background, I've got this sweet screen running. So check that out. All right guys. So as far as I know, and YouTube exists, everyone loves a hidden menu, right? Who doesn't wanna know a secret menu that exists in your car? So I'm gonna show you one. If I press the brightness button, my volume and the phone button all at the same time and hold them, you're gonna get this screen that pops up. Now there's a self-diagnostic mode that'll go in and kind of check on things. So if you wanted to check on different things to see if they're working like your stereo speakers and then internal features of the car. But detailed information down here is kind of cool. So you've got some different things that you can play with or look around in here. Obviously be careful, you don't wanna mess up things too much, but I'm gonna take this even one step further if you wanna look past those. If you press the volume and the foam button again, you can get to an even another menu. Now from this other menu, you can do some pretty cool stuff. So if I scroll down here, there's plenty of things for you to look through. But one thing I wanna point out is these special function settings. If you go to this, you can cancel the Android uh, restrictions. What I like about this is if you cancel it, right? Now from there, I need to back all the way out of this screen. What this is gonna do when you back out of that is when I select this button down here, it is gonna open up and give you access to your browser now, your gallery. So if you look in this beforehand, you're probably only gonna have maybe download an app installer, which only allows you to use Honda apps that are APKs through Honda, right? If you don't know much about that, it just means that they've really listed down and made it to where you can't really upload anything you want. But this will open up your browser for you. You're probably gonna need to update your browser because it hasn't been updated since you probably bought the car, but you can do that. So know that you have access to the browser now through those hidden menus. So we wanna talk about how to use the browser, right? So if you're gonna use it, of course you're gonna to need to set up a Wi-Fi connection, which means you need to turn that on and probably use your phone as a hotspot. So let's talk about how to do that. So I'm gonna go back to the home button here. Now, once we get here, we're gonna to wanna to go to settings. Now under settings, we're gonna to wanna to go to the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi tab. So as soon as we get this pulled up, we'll show you exactly how that works. So Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now from here, 
Uh, the first thing I'm gonna need to do is turn it on. So Wi-Fi status, right? Yours is probably gonna say off. You're gonna wanna hit next to enable it and turn it on. So click on. Once you've done that, let's see, we're gonna click yes to that. Now I need to scroll down and go to the device list. Now I need to add probably my phone if you're gonna do this to the device list. So what you wanna do is click on that. Oops, let me not select somebody else's car here. And then you wanna select your phone. Once you've selected it, it's gonna prompt you to put in a password that you have set for your hotspot. So hopefully you've turned that on and you know the password. Once you've done that, you can back all the way out of these screens. And then from there, you can click on this little button right down here. You'll be able to select your browser and then you'll be able to run your searches and get to things like my wonderful videos. All right guys, so maybe you don't wanna throw an image back here, but you would like to add one into your wallpaper. So let me show you where that's at. If we go to the info button right here, I can click on wallpaper. And right now you can see I have an image already loaded up there, but let's say you don't and you wanna replace it or you wanna add a new one, right? So I'm gonna click on clock and wallpaper settings. Now from here, I wanna go to wallpaper type because I wanna select a new one and then I'm gonna hit next. Now, once I've done that, I wanna go to the wallpaper tab. Now from here, you can see that I've already loaded up some of mine, but if you haven't, plug your USB drive with a JPEG or PNG file in it. They can be pretty big guys. I've done 1920 by 1080 here, so you can use a pretty large image. But let's say I wanna add a new one, right? So I'm gonna select something that else is on my USB drive. So I'll select maybe this banner that I have right here and hit start import. So once I've done that, it's gonna prompt me here. So now I've added that YouTube banner, so it's right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit set and then I'm gonna hit okay. Now, once I've hit okay, I can back out of this screen and you'll find your new image right there. Now I'll remind you when you throw it in drive or do anything, of course, it's gonna take off uh, and maybe change from this. So keep that in mind, depending on what you're doing when you're driving, you know, if you throw up on your backup camera or anything like that, but it's just kind of nice to know that I can have a nice image that's personal to me, whether it be my kids, my dogs, whatever it may be, I'm sure you can come up with a lot of different ideas. All right, guys, so here I am in my CRV, right? And I've got some of my belongings sit up front and I need to hop out and run into the grocery store, or go somewhere. So what do I do? I turn my car off. I make sure I have my key with me, right? And we hop out of the car. We start heading into the store and I usually get all the way into the store before I go, oh my God, I left my laptop in the front seat and I don't remember if I locked my doors. What if you could set it up to where when you get 10 feet from the car, it automatically locks for you. Let me show you how to do that. All right, so let's talk about setting up that automatic door lock. So if I go to settings, the next step I'm gonna to wanna to select on is vehicle right here. Now, once I click on vehicle, I wanna to go to door and window. Now under the door and window tab, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down a little bit and you're gonna see walk away auto lock. This is always set to off as default as Honda, which I feel like is a mistake on their half. If I select that to on, and go ahead and hit yes. Now, anytime I get out of my car, I get 10 feet from it and I have my key with me, it'll automatically lock the doors for me so I don't have to worry about it. So today's a perfect example. The weather's really not nice. It's actually kind of crappy here in Austin, Texas. So when I walk up to my car, I know that I have smart key entry. So I can put my hand on the door handle and it'll automatically unlock my door, but it doesn't unlock these necessarily immediately. What if my wife is over there and she's getting pissed at me because her door isn't open yet and I gotta get in. Let me show you how to touch it and open them all. All right, so let's get the car set up to where when you touch the door handle, it unlocks all the doors for you and your passengers. So if I go to settings, I wanna go back under vehicle. Now, once I get under vehicle, I'm gonna switch things up here. I wanna go to keyless access setup. Now, once I'm under this, I wanna go to door unlock mode. So right now, the way this car is set up is it's just gonna do that driver's door only. If I switch that to all doors and then hit yes, now when I touch the door handle and I have the key in my pocket, it's gonna unlock all the doors so my kids can get in, I can let my dog in, I can get my wife in. All right guys, so here's a quick tip or trick for my sports fans. How would you like to get alerts every time your team is playing or maybe they score? Let me show you how to do that. So you're gonna wanna go to settings. And then once you're under settings, we wanna go over to audio. Now, once you click into audio, you wanna make sure you're under the XM tab up here. So you might be under FM or something. No worries, just click over until you get to it. Now, once you do, you wanna hit sports flash setup. Now, once you've done this, I like it to interrupt me. So that way during the game, it'll send me interruptions and let me know, hey, they just scored. So if I'm listening to music, it'll pause and kind of let me know. But I gotta select teams for that, right? So I wanna go to favorite teams. Now from here, I have the Dallas Cowboys already in there since we're here in Austin, Texas, and we know everybody loves it. But let's say I wanna add my huge 
Houston Texans also. So I got options to go football, basketball, baseball, some different sports here, right? So you've got some options here. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna scroll on down here. And once you've done that, you find your team. So let's say it's the Texans. I now have the Texans on there too, and I can add up to five here. So once I've done that, I can make sure my beeps are turned on and how often I want it to do it. So on here, you've got some options for just one time to give you a notice or continual. I want continual so when they score to give me updates and I want the beep to be turned on. Hit okay, and now I have that set up. So anytime a team's playing, if I can't be in front of the TV to watch the game, maybe I can still get alerts when they score. All right, guys, so here's a fun one for my Apple CarPlay and Android Auto users. So when I click in, so let's stop back at the menu and say when I click into this and I want to go to my menu screen up here, I'm not really a huge fan of the order that I see up here. So, you know, if I click and hold my finger on one, it'll say App Launcher opened in your phone. So from here, it has opened my launcher. Now, what's cool about this is I don't really want those top four, so maybe I want to move some stuff around. So maybe I want Spotify. I want to put Google Maps up there because I use these things regularly. Maybe I want to throw Waze up there also. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And maybe I want the weather, right? Since it's a, it's a pretty bad day here in Austin. So once I've done that, I can back out of that screen. Now, it's not going to immediately do it. It's going to need me to reset, right? So I'm going to unplug my phone. It's going to kick me out of Android Auto here. I'm going to plug my phone back in. Once it's caught on that it's been plugged back in, I can click on Android Auto. I'll be able to jump back into my menu screen and voila, now I have them ordered the way I like. All right guys, so here's an easy one if it comes to, I wanna reorganize what I see sitting here. If I just click and hold on one of these, it will actually pop up this screen and then from there, I can move my audio up to the top. I can slide stuff around. Maybe I want Android Auto to be right underneath that and I want my info button to be over here. Or maybe I wanna create some space in between these, right? I wanna drag these down and make a little bit extra space for me. Or I wanna move this off onto another screen, right? I don't feel that I need that necessarily on my home screen, but I would like to space these out so I don't accidentally hit these while I'm trying to get to other things. Once I've done so, hit okay, and now it'll save the screen that way. All right, guys, so today probably isn't the day that I would really wanna do this, but when I'm walking out to my car on a super hot day, much like it gets here, wouldn't it be easy if I could roll my windows down without actually having to get in the car to let that heat out? Let me show you how to do that. If I've got my key fob with me, if I press it once, press it twice, and then press and hold on that third try, as I do it, it'll roll the windows down and your moonroof, right? Today's rain, so be careful if you have this in your pocket. You would hate to fall asleep, roll over on it, and then run into that issue. Now, on the back of your keys, you have a little switch right here. You pull that switch, there's actually a key in there. So let me get that key out and show you what you can do to lock those back up without getting in the car. So if I walk over here, I turn it once, and then turn it and hold again, it'll roll all my windows up, even my moonroof. So here's kind of an interesting one that plays up here. You know, you've got this tachometer up here, but a lot of people don't necessarily care about that. So if I wanted to turn that off, is it possible? Absolutely, let me show you what to do. So if I come over here and go to settings. Now, once I'm under setting, I wanna click on system. Now, once you're under system, you're actually gonna see tachometer settings right here. If I select on that, I can turn that off. The minute I do, now it's just one less thing cluttering up there. So if you ever run out of gas in your car, a few of you are probably saying no, but there's a couple that are probably saying yes. And if you are, chances are, it was probably a day like today where the weather's kind of crappy, it's raining some, and what do you gotta do? You gotta walk to get gas, you gotta come back, and then you run into this issue. You pop open the gas cap to find out, oh my God, there's like this valve here, how am I gonna get gas into that? I don't have anything, all I've got is this water bottle, or I've got this bag of gas, if it's a Ziploc, or whatever it may be, right? Well, I'm gonna show you some tricks to that. So if we come into the back here, you're gonna wanna flip this up. Now, when you do, there is actually a tiny, funny ba funnel back here. Now, you could probably be able a shot out of this, but that's not really what it's for. That's my dad joke of the day. But if you take this and you come over here, you can put this funnel right inside of here. And now if you were pouring gas out of a cup, out of a jug, whatever it may be, because maybe you don't have a gas can, this will hold it open and allow you to pour gas inside. All right, guys, so we made it through all 14 of the tips and tricks I had available on the 2021 Honda CRV. Hopefully these helped out. If I missed one, I hope that you guys will let me know because I'm always looking for new content to add and I'm always learning new tricks and I'd love it if you could share something with me. So I've got a few questions or I should say favors to ask you. One, I hope you hit that like button for me. Let me know if you liked the video. Two, leave a comment. If you didn't like it, if you did like it, if you think this shirt's weird, 
I don't know, if you think a trick should be adjusted, let me know what you think. And then three, of course, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel so that I can share more of these things with you. And then four, I'm adding a new one, maybe you'll share this video. Do you have a friend with a CRV or do you have uh, some buddies in a CRV group on Facebook? Share the video, let them know some cool stuff that they can do that I'm gonna show you. All right then guys, I appreciate it, talk to you later.